So maybe one final chart I'll show here. Just an, an interesting chart. So a lot of the things that I like to analyze when analyzing crypto are almost macro charts, I like to call them. So these include kind of dominance charts. So a dominance chart kind of represents the market capitalization of a particular coin within the market. So you can see here, this represents Tether coin, which is kind of the largest uh, stable coin uh, in the crypto space. And you can see it's currently sitting at around 5.9% um, of the whole market. So that means out of all of crypto that's recorded on trading view and things like that, about 5.9% of it is taken up in, uh, in US Tether. So the logic of this is that when Tether pumps, that's not a good thing, right? This is one of the only charts in the world where if it pumps, it's a bad thing. So if I even invert it, maybe it'd make a bit more sense. <laughs> and then when it goes down like this, you know, it's not a good thing, right? Okay. So I actually did make a post about this. So when I left my Bitcoin position and all my other positions in, in, uh, in crypto, it was at this point here. I've circled it in yellow, right? This was kind of the final, final point of, okay, I'll suck it up now and accept this isn't going to go the way I want it to go kind of thing, right? Because I think I posted an upper impact back here saying, okay, we could come down here to this area where I've got the green bullish area and I've got this red teddy bear danger area. And I think I posted it around here. So around the, uh, about the 17th, 18th of April, I posted originally. And I said, okay, let's watch what happens. Clearly we couldn't get the move down to the bull area. And then we got a bit stuck, you know, there wasn't any clear direction. And then this candle happened. When that candle happened, that was the, that was the only warning you ever needed to, to leave the market, right? And I did share it. I don't know how many people listened to me, but I did try and warn the whole, the whole of Alpha Impact, you know, guys, it's not looking great. Big warning. You know, Tether's on the way out. This is something you don't want to be holding on. It's going to be a movie. And I mean, Luna hadn't, hadn't even begun at that point, but yeah, it was just a one of those things. So, yeah, it was literally two days before. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, this bullish wave, we broke the orange line trend oh, of momentum. Did you, did you, Chris? Um, no, okay. No, it's all good? Yep. Perfect, perfect. Yep. So I'll just quickly just give a little up to date where we are now. So you see with this huge, huge bullish uh, leg up to the upside, kind of just reached a high of around you know just under or just shy of seven percent just above and now we're just in this area here so when this is pushing down like i said this is an indicator that the market's pumping so right now i would say there's a good chance that we're gonna get a market pump over the next few days but i would want to see how this area of resistance plays out so my charts look hectic i try and tone them down when i post now for impact but here you are this is raw and fresh just switching from one to another but this area here so where are we now i would say up until sort of 27th of May around one o'clock. So over the next kind of three, four days, that's a really big decision point, right? Things are going to go one way or another. We might continue this slow, slow bleed in Tether back to maybe this orange trend, this momentum trend that it broke out of before, just to retest before pushing up again, maybe to the 618 here, about six and a half percent, or we could break. So I'll be very interested to see how these next few days of resistance play out. So if you don't chart Tether, have a look. <laughs> and make your own ideas up of that. But I will probably try and make a post um, either today or tomorrow on Alpha Impact. So I do look out for that. And then maybe on that note, I can pass back to Hayden. Um, and then, yeah, we can maybe go through some more charts another time. But yeah, just I would say as my kind of closing off point on the markets, keep an eye on equities. Although crypto and equities are different things, do keep aware because obviously equity markets are driving global markets currently. So you need to understand what's happening around the globe, you know, inflation, Fed tightening, recession lurking in, in America specifically, or especially, I should say. So yeah, keep on the fundamentals because right now crypto unfortunately is very fundamentally driven.